Hello YouTube, this is TJB0607 with finally another Minecraft video. Today I'm looking at checkpoints with the new Minecraft update of these nifty little command blocks. Um, so I have three different checkpoints made and I'll tell you about the pros and cons of each of them and that, that doesn't work. Alright, this one, very simple, you step on the pressure plate, it sets your spawn, and it sets the time today and clears the weather for, uh, I don't know how many hours, a lot. But, there's a problem, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. See, right here, it said 84. Um, that's a bad thing. Sometimes it'll say 83, and sometimes it'll say 85. But if you're dashing through it, sometimes it'll say 84. And 84 is this block I'm standing on right here. So let me get it. 84. 84. <laughs> Okay, so now it's set to 84, and if I jump into this lava here, you'll see that m my home bed was missing or obstructed. Why? That's because these pressure plates here. It thinks of it as if it's a solid block blocking my spawn. But that's not the case, of course. Um, so I need a way to activate it, though, right? So how about this? Uh, it just sets it to this block right here. Um, so this will work just fine, right? Of course because it's an absolute position so it works consistently every time but there is a problem with this when you're making a map with MC edit you want to be able to copy and paste things really quickly now obviously you can make a script to just automate this but um, I'm I suck at programming so and we want to be real lazy, right? Because that's, that's what everyone likes. So I made this. It's the same thing as this one. Only this time, there's these redstone torches. I don't know if you can see that one. So it inverts the signal twice, and it goes to these pistons. So it does all the commands, and then it pushes these pressure plates and since pressure plates can't be pushed then uh, they'll just pop off the ground that means that if I set my spawn at Z equals 84 that's not a problem so these pressure plates won't be in the way of where I'm gonna spawn um, so I'll show you how to make them. You know? All right. Stop burning, stupid. All right. This one's. We're gonna ignore this one because it's kind of redundant with this one and that one. So let's start out building this one. Yep. But. but. Okay, so you start out building a frame so that your player can't just jump through and you get some pressure plates and then you pr place two blocks here place these four blocks get some redstone dust put them under the pressure plates and you'll need to 
set all of the commands. Uh, you can just look at this video for reference, pause it here. Um, obviously, for this one, you will need to set your spawn point to where this is. So, to do that, what I do is just say, um, let me so that it's easy to see the chat and the coordinates at the same time I set it to small and then I will just put my coordinates into the chat and quickly go to there and you can one second I want to look at the chat while I do it. So, okay. So now we can slash spawn point at p thirteen twenty eleven eighty five. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do that. And then I just need to set these. These two are optional, of course, and this one is too. All you really need is the spawn point one. And to make it in that style, you'll want to load the frame like that. two pressure plates, get some regular pistons, put them there, get any type of block, put it there, get, oh, don't place that, uh, you can press the, place the pressure plates last, that would be a good idea, actually, place these, place the redstone dust, and set the commands like so. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time. Uh, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like the video, dislike it. If you loved the video, favorite it. If you want to say something, leave a comment. And if you want more, subscribe.